Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Submachine. We're now on the sixth, th sorry, it's kind of hard to say that word, sixth th th game, The Edge. Uh, and uh, let's just get started because this one actually gives us a slight recap as we go. So it starts with the very end of the fifth game when we finally pilot whatever this thing is heading towards the edge of the subnet. And something happens immediately. Looks kind of like some kind of computerized system that's, well, found us. Unscheduled movement in a maintenance cart. Interception in progress. Oops. Didn't see that coming. Well, I mean, I did. I've played the game before, but otherwise. We've had no sign of any sort of intelligence behind this subnet yet, and uh, now we kind of do. Uh, we can't move our ship anymore. We've been trapped by those boxes, so we're going to have to leave into whatever this is. It's very gracious of them to offer us this extra box instead of just kicking us out. Alrighty. And we find ourselves in some sort of cube. Uh, I guess we're in a huge set of cubes there. Some sort of Borgian uh, structure. Uh, this, there's something here. I don't know what it is. We can't really click on it. So let's move on for just a second to this. Uh, we click on this big red button and something scans us. But it doesn't seem to like what it sees. Uh, it's, just, it's just kicking us back out. So maybe there's something we have to do in here. And uh, we can try using some of our items, which we've carried over from the previous game, on this object here. So we have our two cipher plates. Maybe these go in something. Let's try. Oh, it just it's like a trash bin. We just kind of toss them out. Well, we don't need these anymore, I guess. Let's get rid of that. And let's try scanning again. Oh, and this time it lets us through. That's nice of them. Enter your personal ID number. Ooh, well, I don't think we have one. We haven't ever seen one in the games before. There's certainly no hints as to what this is. Let's just start putting in some numbers and see if we can get lucky. Uh, well, nope, we're not lucky. And we're being dropped. Okay, well, we can get out now. Let's just go this way. And goodbye, elevator. We're here. Okay, best I can figure, uh, we started heading out in that machine, in the the ship, whatever, it's a box, and uh, a security system caught on that we were doing something that wasn't supposed to happen, and it was just checking to make sure we were, in fact, authorized, because it was unauthorized movement, so it was checking to see maybe an authorized person, and nope, unauthorized movement, unauthorized person, we get dropped off here on some rocky ledge. There's a pipe we can climb up onto, but we can't do anything up here. So, I guess we've just been left out here by ourselves. Here's a portal, like what we saw back at the lab. Uh, but it's broken. No, no using it now. There's some reddish, orangish marks. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be rust from long years of disuse. Or blood. I don't know. Let's not think about that too much. Uh, looks like there's nowhere to go here, but there is actually a tiny ledge right here we can use. Uh, barely visible. We can climb onto it and crawl this way. And we see a couple vents, but we can't get in these ones. And a note. Well, that's it. I see no point in holding on any longer. No one's coming. I've been a fool all the time. Pointless. Oof. Well, this person, uh, probably wrote this just before jumping off the ledge because there's nowhere to go. We have more vents. We have a dead end here. And uh, nobody came to save him, so he's gone now. Um, but this uh, gives us a little clue as to what's happening because if you remember, uh, we see notes everywhere in this series of people who've left behind clues uh, for anyone who comes to follow, like what they did, what they were doing, uh, what happened, what's where they're going next, that kind of stuff. Because as another note says, you've noticed that you don't really see other people in the subnet. It's just 
a million to one chance you actually run into another human. So we all leave notes behind. But that was something instilled by Murtaugh, who is our employer now. Uh, so this is somebody that Murtaugh probably employed who made it out to the edge like we did. Uh, now, in the previous game, we were given the mission to get some wisdom gems, which would power the ship that took us here. Uh, and nowhere in that did Murtaugh mention that multiple people have already been here. I'm going to assume this is not the only person that's done this. So there's been expeditions to the edge before. So Murtaugh keeps sending people to quote unquote explore it. So what's the deal with that? Has everyone he sent out here died and Murtaugh just keeps sending people hoping that someone finally returns with information? We'll see. We also noticed this vent looks a little bit broken. So let's, yeah, we can, we can just slide that right off and go inside. Uh, go this way. Nope, let's not go this way. There's nothing here. This wall. It looks like something heads up into the ceiling, but otherwise we can't do anything with that wall. Uh, let's head up. And let's head up again. Okay, we see some sort of hideaway. And another note. So somebody else uh, must have made it here. And they left behind a uh, ID card, a key card of some kind. And a note. Do not mess with the protocols. If you do, they will lock you up inside. I've seen that happening before. That's not a good way to die out here. Anyway, I've had enough. I'm not going in there anymore. Going in where? And why? Was this another person Murtaugh sent and he was supposed to, like, go in somewhere and do something? But there's some kind of protocol. I'm going to assume that has to do with the security that found us. And uh, if they catch you, they lock you. Well, they didn't lock us up. They, they just kind of abandoned us on the cliff face, hoping we would just die. Um, whatever, this person basically gave up, said they're just going to live here now. Not sure how long they made it. Doesn't seem to be any source of food. And over here we got a wheel of some kind and another note. Did he tell you that you were the first one sent out here? Well, newsflash, my friend. All right, there's more. Okie dokie then. Uh, let's turn the wheel and see what happens. Well, this thing, this light changes from the top left to the top right. Uh, let's see if that did anything. It didn't seem to look... Oh! Well, that certainly did. This pipe used to go down and not to the right. But now we can't go down, but we can go to the right. Let's uh, see. It should be a completely different area, and that is correct. Uh, now we see some kind of dragon with some poles here. And we can click on it. And it pushes into the wall. I assume that was important. This is still the same room as before. Let's go this way and turn the wheel again. But now we can't go through the pipe because uh, we've rotated it again so that there is no entrance on this side. We've got to rotate it one more time. And now we can go back down. But we can't go up. That's all right. We don't ever need to go up this way again. And in here we see a new uh, pipe has revealed itself as this wall has moved further back. So I guess this connects to the room up above us. Uh, that we had that dragon face in and we just pushed the entire wall and there's some wheels you can see uh, That did it. We didn't see those wheels before but now we do so I guess this is just one more sort of security measure Not sure. There's kind of a lot of them now. Oh Okay, I guess we'll try one of these pipes. Let's go this way uh, We Came out of here. We can't go in there. There's something covering it up But we can go up this way and turn another wheel when we go back down we see that we've switched. This one's now covered, and this one is not. It's a weird system there. Uh, if we go in here, there's a dead end. Um, if we go in this lower one, we see that the pipe actually goes all the way through the wall, but there's something obstructing it here, which we can just unclamp, and that should let us through. And there's another note. Don't believe in his lies. I think this is in reference to Murtaugh. Um, so whoever's being sent out here and I'm guessing it's multiple people now. These are all different people writing notes. Uh, they've caught on that there's a bunch of people that have been sent out here, and they realize they've been lied to uh, about, by Murtaugh about something. Because they're not here to map out the edge. Murtaugh already knows there's an edge. He sent them out to do something else entirely. Oof. A little bit of slowdown here. And now we enter some new room with Egyptian hieroglyphs on it. 
We have not actually entered ancient Egypt, no, but we uh, will find in this game and the rest of the series, really, a lot of uh, references to ancient Egypt in a way. Part of that is Skutnik uh, just really likes ancient civilizations. And this one has a reference to Thoth, one of the Egyptian gods, of multiple things, one of which is time. Um, and speaking of time, uh, I've gone a little past 10 minutes now, so I'm going to cut off this video here, and I'll meet you all in the next video. Thanks. Bye.